So I recently finished this journal, time to say goodbye to it, and now I'm about to start a brand new journal. So I bind all of my journals um, myself, and you can see they're just a lot of junk. The only thing I've really done in the journal so far is I did put 2017. I started putting years um, recently just because I started to get confused about when journals were made. Um, but you can see that inside it's a combination of like pattern papers, um, papers that I've stamped on and stuff that were tests. I've used a lot of tags in there, um, things that were kind of experiments or trying things out. Again, stamp, stamp, stamps. I do a lot of stamping on things. I think this is like a stencil. Again, experimenting. Um, this was clearly something that didn't work out, but now it's gonna be a page in my journal. Sometimes there are things that are covered in deli paper. Um, this was a mask that I clearly cut at some point, which I just decided to bind into the journal along with, again, tags, 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 painted papers. Um, here is a piece of watercolor paper. I can feel this watercolor paper because it's so thick. But clearly, you know, I painted it gold at some point but didn't use it, so in it went to the journal. Um, this is obviously more painted paper. I think, so the other day I came across this page when I was just looking at whether I wanted to start this journal and I saw this much of the hand and the rest of the page was something else and so I just decided to unite the two halves here. You can see that by adding another hand and sort of painting similar colors across. But I mean, that's how these junk journals work, is that you come across something and then maybe I'll end up taking the same leaf stencil that's being used on this short page and I'll use it here and then you'll never know that this wasn't originally planned that way. And that's just become for me the way that I like art journaling because I get excited. I see something, it makes me think of something else to do. I'm never stuck with that blank white page. There's always something giving you feedback. Um, this is a piece of copy paper that I had done a bubble wrap print in um, neon as an experiment. So in it went. Um, more, you know, lots of carved December stuff and testing things. Here's another mask, you know, just that fun shaving. You can see that it had been on my jelly plate and um, tons and tons and tons and tons of tags. Manila envelope. Hello. Um, sometimes the pages are pretty blank, you know, I was practicing my brush lettering, um, sometimes, again, they're very white, this is super white, you can see some of the binding thread right here, um, and sometimes, like, just watercolor experiments, but it's like, I like to find a place for all those pieces of paper, here's another watercolor experiment, stamping, um, envelopes, little pieces of pattern paper, tags, stenciling, everything that I make has a home. It finds a place to live and then it keeps inspiring me. And then also I don't feel bad about using up my stuff because this is really pretty, but it's not like a piece of art. But here in my journal, I can preserve it when I mix it into this page and you'll never know that that wasn't the original intent. So that's kind of a little bit about that. There's the back. And there's the back cover. So I'm really excited to start using this bad boy. Be sure to join me every Friday on my blog for Art Journal Every Day, where I share art journal tips, inspiration, techniques, all kind of stuff that's art journaling related. That's at balsterdesigns.typepad.com. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.